kings of a prehistoric planet. The Cambrian period is an important time in the history of life on Earth. This period is known as the time of the so-called Cambrian Explosion. This is a time of rapid emergence and diversification of many major animal groups. Here are some of the dominant animals of this period. Kings of the Cambrian period. Trilobites. Trilobites were among the most widespread and diverse marine arthropods in the Cambrian seas. These organisms were predators and scavengers. Smaller organisms became prey for these animals and therefore trilobites can well be considered the kings of the Cambrian period. Archaeocyathe. Archaeocyaths were ancient sponges with calcareous skeletons, similar to modern corals. They played an important role in reef formation, creating complex reef structures that provided shelter for many other organisms. These were the gray cardinals of that time. It seems like an invisible creature, but it was she who played the first violin in the royal court of the Cambrian period. Arthropods, Anomalocarus. Anomalocarides were large predatory arthropods such as Anomalocarus, reaching lengths of up to three feet. They had large anterior appendages for capturing prey and a round moth-like structure. These animals were among the largest and most effective predators of the Cambrian seas. And by the way, they hunted trilobites. Irony of the ancient world. Interesting creatures conodonts. Conodonts were small, tooth-like elements thought to belong to primitive chordates. They were likely part of the food chain, being both predators and prey. Of course, they could not be called kings. Giant shrimp. Herdia and similar giant shrimp were large arthropods that preyed on small marine animals. These were predators that played a key role in controlling the populations of other organisms. The Cambrian period was a time of exceptional biodiversity and innovation, with many modern animal types appearing in the fossil record for the first time. These organisms formed complex ecosystems that laid the foundations for the further evolution of life on Earth. After the Cambrian, the Ordovician period began, which is characterized by significant development of marine ecosystems and a further increase in the diversity of life. During this period, various groups of marine organisms dominated. Trilobites were important inhabitants of the seabed, feeding on small organisms and performing a filtering process. Brachiopods. Brachiopods were also filter feeders, attaching to the substrate and filtering plankton from the water. Grapsolites. Graptolites were colonial organisms that lived in tube-like structures and floated in columns of water. Graptolites were important planktonic organisms, and their fossils are widely used for the stratigraphy of Ordovician sediments. Corals. The first reef-building corals, such as Tabulata and Rugosa, began to appear in the Ordovician seas. They played an important role in building reefs and creating complex marine ecosystems, providing shelter for many other organisms. Nautiloids. Nautiloids were a group of cephalopods with straight or spiral shells. They were active predators and dominated the upper tiers of food chains. Bivalve mollusks were diverse and included forms that lived both on the bottom and burrowed into the sediment. They were important filter feeders and occupied various ecological niches. Echinoderms. 
Crinoids were echinoderms that were attached to the bottom by a stem and had long, feathery arms. They were filter feeders, catching food particles from the water. Ophiuroids or darter tails darter tails were agile echinoderms with flexible arms that were used to capture food. They played a variety of ecological roles, from detritivores to active predators. Conodonts were small marine animals with tooth-like elements used for feeding. Conodonts were important parts of the food chain and are key fossils for stratigraphy. Marine arthropods Various arthropods, such as ancient arachnids and early sea scorpions, eurypterids, were diverse and adaptive. They occupied a variety of ecological niches, from predators to scavengers. Ectosozoans Ectosozoans such as orthocerates, long, straight nautiloids, reached large sizes and were active predators. They dominated the upper tiers of food chains. The Ordovician period is characterized by significant development of marine ecosystems and a further increase in the diversity of life. The Ordovician period was characterized by an increase in marine biodiversity and ecosystem complexity. During this period, many groups of animals appeared, which became the basis for the further evolution of marine ecosystems. The Silurian period was a time of significant evolutionary changes and further development of life on Earth. This period was dominated by various groups of animals that lived in both marine and coastal ecosystems. Nautiloids continued to flourish, representing a group of cephalopods with straight or spiral shells. Bivalves were diverse and included forms that lived both on the bottom and burrowed into the sediment. Echinoderms, crinoids, echinoderms with long feathery arms, were important filter feeders, catching fish, ground particles from water. Trilobites remained an important and diverse group of marine arthropods, although their numbers and diversity began to decline compared to previous periods. Bivalved brachiopods continued to thrive and remained important components of marine ecosystems. They were effective filter feeders and occupied coastal and shelf areas. Graptolites remained important planktonic organisms that lived in colonies and played an important role in marine ecosystems. The first jawed fish acanthidas, or spiny fish, were among the first jawed fish, having characteristic spines and scales. They were important predators and played a significant role in the development of fish ecosystems. Placoid fish, such as members of the early cartilaginous fish group, began to evolve during this period. They occupied a variety of ecological niches, including predation and filter feeding. Rachoscorpions or Eurypterids reached large sizes and were one of the largest predators of the Silurian seas. Their goal is to control the populations of other marine organisms. The Silurian period was a time of significant change in development of marine ecosystems, dominated by diverse groups of animals. During this period, the colonization of land by the first terrestrial plants began, which created the basis for the further development of the terrestrial biosphere. The Devonian period is known as the Age of Fish due to the enormous diversity and dominance of different groups of fish. This period also saw important evolutionary changes associated with the emergence of the first vertebrates on land and the development of terrestrial ecosystems. Armored fish or placoderms were the first vertebrates with jaws and had armored plates covering the front of the body. Dunkleosteus, one of the most famous placoderms, reaching lengths of up to 33 feet. 
Placoderms were among the largest and dominant predators of the Devonian seas. Lobe-finned fish or Sarcopterygians. Lobe-finned fish had muscular fins that resembled limbs. These included fish such as coelacanths and dipnoi lungfishes. These fish played important roles in ecosystems and became the ancestors of the first land vertebrates. Cartilaginous fishes, such as early sharks, began to diversify and occupy different ecological niches. They were efficient predators and competed with other fish for food resources. Bony fish like the ray-finned Actinopterygii began to evolve and become more diverse. The Devonian period saw the emergence of the first vertebrates onto land. An example is Chictalic, which had characteristics of both fish and amphibians. These early tetrapods adapted to life in coastal and freshwater environments, becoming the ancestors of all terrestrial vertebrates. Jawless fish or agnates. Although their dominance had decreased compared to previous periods, jawless fishes, such as various species of hagfishes and lampreys, continued to exist. They occupied the niches of scavengers and filter feeders. Bivalves continued to be important filter feeders in marine ecosystems. They purified water from suspended particles and served as food for many predators. Ammonites began to become more diverse and were the ancestors of modern cephalopods. Nautiloids such as orthocerates continued to flourish. Echinoderms such as crinoids, crinoids, ophiuroids, snake tails, and sea urchins flourished in Devonian seas. They were engaged in water filtration and processing of organic material. Arthropoda. Rachoscorpions or Eurypterids reached large sizes and continued to be important predators in coastal and freshwater ecosystems. They played a key role in controlling the populations of other organisms. The first terrestrial arthropods, such as millipedes and early spiders, began to colonize the land. They decomposed organic material and played an important role in the formation of the first soils. The Devonian period was a time of significant evolutionary changes and adaptations that laid the foundations for the subsequent development of terrestrial ecosystems. During this period, fish reached maximum diversity and dominance in the seas, and the first vertebrates began to move onto land marking a major milestone in the evolution of life on Earth. The Carboniferous period is characterized by significant changes in the evolution of animals and plants. During this period, various groups of animals dominated both marine and terrestrial ecosystems. The main features of the Carboniferous were extensive forests, which later turned into coal deposits, and high oxygen levels in the atmosphere which facilitated the development of giant insects and other invertebrates. Giant insects. Meganeura. An insect similar to a modern dragonfly with a wingspan of up to 70 centimeters, it is one of the largest known flying insects. Archaeorthoptera. The ancestors of modern orthoptera, such as grasshoppers and crickets, reached considerable sizes. Arachnids. Large spiders and scorpions, such as Pulmonoscorpius, reached sizes of up to 70 centimeters, myriapods. Arthropleura. One of the largest known arthropods, reaching lengths of up to 9 feet. This giant multi-legged creature lived in forests and fed on plant material. Amphibians or Labyrinthodonts. Eogeraria or Eogerinus. One of the largest representatives of Labyrinthodonts, resembling modern ones crocodiles. These semi-aquatic predators reached lengths of up to 15 feet. Megalosaurus or Megalobatricus. 
giant amphibians that lived in reservoirs and on the banks. Early Reptiles Hylonymus One of the first known reptiles to live on land. This small organism reached lengths of up to 8 inches and fed on insects and other small invertebrates. Paleosaurs Early reptiles adapted to a variety of ecological niches, from predators to herbivores. Sea creatures Foraminifera and Radiolaria single-celled organisms with mineral skeletons that played an important role in marine ecosystems and sedimentation. Shellfish Ammonites Marine cephalopods with spiral shells that were important predators in planktivores. Bivalphia Blastoid Crinoid-like echinoderms that were important components of marine ecosystems. Fish Acanthodes Primitive jawed fish that began to evolve and diversify. Placoid fish Cartilaginous fish, such as early sharks, continued to thrive. Bony fish Diverse representatives of bony fishes that occupied various ecological niches in marine and freshwater ecosystems. The Carboniferous period was a time of significant evolutionary change, when vast forests formed and high oxygen levels in the atmosphere supported the development of giant insects and other invertebrates. This period was dominated by both marine and terrestrial ecosystems with diverse groups of animals, laying the foundation for the subsequent development of life on Earth. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also press the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.